Hey everybody, uh, welcome, Dr. Serrano here, here with an awesome student, uh, Dr. future Dr. Gigi, she graduates in a few months here. Say hi, hi everyone. everyone. And um, today, you know, last week I started talking about chiropractic and is there evidence to support what we're doing? So you're in school, you're going through this, is there evidence out there to support what we're doing? There's a lot of evidence actually. A yeah. lot. Every day there's new evidence and it's very, it's amazing. That's awesome. And what I get so excited about is uh, I have two more medical journals that, 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 uh, that have published um, evidence to support what we do. And the question that I asked last time was, uh, what do you accept as evidence, right? If it's in a medical journal, do you accept that as evidence? Or, or what is it that you accept? So hopefully if you accept something that's in a medical journal as evidence, then you're in the right spot. So today, I'm excited because I have two studies here, number one, um, I wrote a report on this and I called it Stand Tall, Live Longer. So in this research, this was done um, in the Journal of a, the American Geriatric Association, or Society, sorry. And it's hyperkyphotic posture predicts mortality in, older, in the older community. What does this mean? So they took 298 individuals and they looked at their posture, they studied their posture, and they said that if, if for every, so, so, Dr. G, come over here. So they look from the side and they know that the, your ear should be over your shoulder and they had certain measurements that they looked at. And this is what they saw in 298 individuals. It was a pretty big study. It's not like we're talking about five or 10 people here. So for every millimeter that the posture went forward, so can you do the forward head posture? So for every millimeter that the posture went forward, all of their measurements, when it came to their health measurements, got worse. You, you can get out of that posture. I don't want you to stay in that posture too long. That's not a good thing. So for every time that you, they, they did the measurements and everybody's posture started to go forward, their outcomes, every measure, they looked at blood pressure, they looked at cholesterol, they looked at all the things that measure health, every single one of them declined as their posture got worse. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that what we teach all the time? Is that what you're learning? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's why what, we're here. <laughs> we're here because we talked last week. In your brain, your brain controls everything in your body. For your heart to beat, your lungs to breathe, everything in your body for it to function, your brain has to be better connected. And if you have good posture, guess what? It's better connected. So that study proves that. That's in, it's in the medical literature. That's the evidence to show you that, yes, when your grandparents used to tell you and nag at you and say, hey, sit up straight, there's a point to that. And I love it when all these old wives' tales start to come out and we start to see the evidence to support that. I'm not saying that all old wives', wives tales are true, but there's a lot of evidence out there. Um, the next one, I, know that, I don't know if you saw this one in school, but I think this was a pretty cool one too. Um, this is, the, the question here was, does lifetime chiropractic care improve the quality of life uh, in a healthy individual. Did you see this one in school? You guys go through this one? Um, maybe. You don't remember? remember, remember, remember. <laughs> Alright, so here, here we go. So what they did, they looked at healthy individuals that were 60 or above. Not that were sick or in pain. These are healthy individuals. And they, they said, over a seven year period, they took one group that was healthy and seeing a chiropractor, and another group that was not, or excuse me, healthy, not seeing a chiropractor, and what happened was that the people that were seeing a chiropractor, they had, get this, 60% decrease in hospital admissions. They had 59% decrease in how many days they spent in a hospital. Surgeries and procedures, 62% decrease. Now here's the kicker. I only picked a few of the things in the study, but this is the one I love more than anything. 85% decrease in cost of medications, and use of pharmaceutical drugs. How cool is that? That is the power. When you graduate from school, this is the power that you have for people. You can literally transform people's lives with your, with your two hands. That's so what awesome. do you think about that? It's awesome. And that's why I'm pumped up and that's why I'm here to learn more and do it after. Awesome. Well, Ignite Community, this is your first um, video with Dr. Gigi. We wanted to bring her on and, and everybody uh, kind of say hi to her and, and, and meet her. So she'll be here for the next couple of months interning with us as she learns more. But guys, for the next few videos, I'm gonna be bringing you the evidence behind what we do in our office every single day. I think you can tell I love this stuff. I'm juiced up about this. 
And uh, just share this video. Give us some, some thumbs up, some hearts if you like the information. And, uh, and let's start spreading the word. Let's start getting people to realize what we're doing and why we're doing what we're doing. So love you guys. And I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. <laughs>